largest producer of V8 automobiles, creator and builder of the distinctive new Thunderbird, now announces the 1955 Ford in four completely new lines, including the distinguished new Fairlane series. You'll find a fresh concept of styling in every one of Ford's 16 body styles for 55. The years ahead styling of these brilliant new cars is exemplified in this two-tone Fairlane town sedan. The broad chrome mesh grill and the forward sweep of the visored headlights, the new wide-angle all-around windshield, the jet-like rear fender and lower deck lid are just a few of the new features of every 1955 Ford. The Crown Victoria with its exciting new application of chrome trim. The Ford Sunliner, which like all Fords for 55, features brilliant new interior styling. The Country Squire, one of five versatile beauties in the expanded Ford station wagon line. And whichever Ford you choose, you'll enjoy new riding comfort with Ford's angle poise ball joint front suspension. You'll have the exciting response of trigger torque power with Ford's new high-torque Y-Block V8 engine. Get personally acquainted with the 1955 Ford, now on display at your Ford dealer. Monsieur de Paris, the executioner will get to his bloody work tomorrow. Twenty golden louis. Who's had it demonstrated on a top off this time? Oh, a servant girl, you heard of a rich old mistress for a string of pearls. Young and pretty, I'll wager. That she is. Very pretty. <laughs> she should chop off her head for nothing. It really feels in your heart, my child. Confess it now. Oh, you're naughty. I didn't kill my aunt. I was about to kiss my neck or cuddle her when my mother screamed. She didn't run into the house with Gavin. Her window was open and the murder had already spread. Yet no peddler came to your defense during the trial. And, and the pearls, the pearls were found in your trunk. You didn't know how they got there, I swear it, Father. Unless a murderer put them there. I should do more than comfort you in these last hours. I want my life. Thank you, madame. I want my life. I want my life. I will be by your side in the morning. you here at this hour, Father. Oh, George, many years. Good evening. I suppose I could ask you the same question. And get the same answer. What's your name? Oh. Your Honor. Father, they told me at your home that you were not walking. So you are back, Monsieur Fano. In Abidjan, I got some definite information about the missing peddler. His name is Matt Fogel. Now, if you just give me a little more time, sir. You have found the test. Well, no, but I'm on the track. He sells dry goods. And he disappeared the very day Marie Pasquin was arrested. Now, twice before, you have promised to produce this missing witness. And twice I have granted you an extension. I see no reason to grant you a third. But she's not guilty, sir. A long time ago, I was a young lawyer myself and became emotionally attached to my first client. As I grew older, I found that even the most perfect defense could not undo a crime. The fate of a human life must never be considered as a cut and dried business. Monsieur Clermont, are you trying to tell me how to run my court? No, sir, I... Of course he's not, George Bernier. He is prompted by compassion. Produce your witness before sunup, and I'll halt the execution. He's innocent. He's a gentle, honest girl. He never believed the guilt of those he loved. Me, Tom. I've got to talk quickly. They only allowed me a few minutes. Oh, 
I unmerciful let you die. Too late. Mercy, man. Wait. Tomorrow, when they lead you to the chapel, something's gonna happen. They'll send us back to Dodge for a few minutes. They'll give you a chance to escape. How? A riot's gonna break out. The moment it does run, run as fast as you can to the park. Then head to your sports paddock. Each to the field and off the road. Each to the paddock and what do you like? Get yourself a job as a domestic. That'll keep you off the track. I can't leave you still. We're always lonesome. It will give me time. I have a clue to the heading of those witches. I'm going to find them and ring the street out. In three months, from tomorrow, I will meet you at the chapel of St. Clair in Paris at 8 in the evening. Three months from tomorrow, the chapel of St. Clair at 8 in the evening. I do it and despise, hate it. Exiled in my own house. Life on it. Loneliness. Except for you. Nice people to bring her around. It, uh, it would be better to take her to the hospital. After all, we don't know anything about her. Let's see how she's feeling in the morning. <laughs> By morning, she may have disappeared with all the table children. All right, go to bed, Sam. I look after her. Good night, Winston. You never got to bed at all. Uh, oh, I was afraid to see old cops alone in a strange house. Oh, 
A little dexterous to pass things in your mind this morning, I can see. Huh? Well, we have bouillon to spare. Come here. Have no fear, mademoiselle. You are in my house. I found you last night, unconscious on the scary floor, where I took you with me in my wagon. I remember nothing. Not even what happened to you before? No. I came from the country to find work in Paris. The men followed me in the street. I got frightened. I ran. Here, there's some bouillon. Oh, thank you, monsieur. As soon as I finish, I'll go. Go where? To find work. <laughs> you are not well enough, my child. It'd be better to stay here and to be stronger. In this house? Well, as far as Francois and I are concerned, you can stay as long as you like. Of course, I must warn you. We lead a very dull and secluded life here. No visitors. No social activities of any kind. But no wife. No wife either. We are both constant bachelors and very lonely ones. I want you to let me work for you. I can cook and sew and scrub. And then one fine day you march out the door and... I never, never even put foot outside the house. I wouldn't want to. Don't you know anyone in Paris? Not at all. Where are you from? From Elaine. I was raised on a farm, but there was very little food cooked for a bear. So I, I came to Paris to better myself. I'm an ignorant girl, monsieur. What is your name? Mm. Madeleine. Madeleine Clermont. If you ask for me, tell her that I went to the country to cook French. You won't work. You remember the boy I brought home from the orphanage first time? He was going to be your son. But when he climbed the fence and found out from people in the street whose house this is, he never came back. Now, my plan is different. She doesn't want even to set foot outside. Now, I teach her the manners of a lady. I instruct her in music, in literature, in history. And in time, I hope, she'll come to look upon me as a father. And then if she finds out who I really am, Maybe it won't matter anymore. We'll find out. And she'll leave us. And you'll be twice as miserable and twice as lonely as before. Don't interfere, Belsa. I warn you. And from now on, I wish this carriage house kept locked at all times. As you wish, sir. I'll be back before midnight tomorrow. And now, during intermission, here is artist, author, and educator, Professor Tom Fold. You know, one of the ways you can suggest steps in a drawing is by using perspective. For example, let's draw a highway moving back into the distance. Now, first of all, we need a horizon line. And on this, we establish a point called the vanishing point. This is a place where all receding lines converge. Now, the highway can be drawn merely by connecting two foreground points with a vanishing point. To increase the impression of distance, we'll add telephone poles, one in the foreground, and then others getting smaller and smaller and closer together as they recede into the distance. To make the picture look more real, however, we'll add a center line dividing the road and horizontal lines going across the road like this. You and I know how real these are because they represent the car strips between the second of the cement highway. The car strips are very small. Still, they can produce annoying little shocks when we drive over them. Graphically, the shock transmitted to a wheel hitting bumps can be plotted this way. 
Some of the force moves upward, and some moves to the rear. All suspension systems move up and down to take care of the vertical force. However, Ford has made provisions to take care of the lateral force. Now, last year, as you may recall, Ford introduced the ball joint front suspension system in its car, which created a new concept of riding comfort. This year, this system has undergone one important improvement. The whole suspension system is tilted. As a result, when the front wheel moves over a bump, it no longer moves straight up and down, but instead moves at a slight diagonal, absorbing much of the shock impulse, which is directed both upward and to the rear. Tilting the front suspension system gives you what Ford calls its new angle poise ride, a further improvement in Ford's fine ball joint front suspension system. When you drive a new Ford, you will find that road joint jar has been really smoothed out by Ford's new angle poise ball joint front suspension system. Your Ford dealer invites you to test drive a 55 Ford and enjoy the new smoothness of Ford's new angle poise ride. Capital of Sweden. Stockholm. Good. Now, who is the President of the United States? Mr. Andrew Jackson. Mm -hmm. Now, careful. How long is the Seven Year War last? Because I think it's season in it. All right. Who fought it? Um, I give up. Frederick the Great and Maria Therese. What is it, my lord? The scene that you think it is? Not necessarily. What is it? It's the best of ages. Why? In 1704. 17 days? What? In 17 days? I will have been here three months. I'm beginning to miss you so much on these mysterious trips of yours. It seems you're going to have to take me along. I like being away right from play. Because of my music, I have two old packers we can't see. Be careful. You notice today we should take my leg there? Mm -hmm. well, this here is for my little man. Well, how can I afford it? Don't you like them? They are green and curls. Look. Come mm -hmm. In time, some more pretty nice men, don't you feel in them? Well, one of these days, I plan to retire, then we go to the south and meet some young people. And you like it, Madeleine? I can't believe I lied to you. I'm not Madeleine Claymore. I'm Mary Preston. A servant girl charged with the murder of a mistress. I wish you would try them and see if you would like to. Somebody shouted, Mad Dog. During your illness, you had a nightmare. You talked, you were free, you were living in part of the story. Then I heard about the interrupted execution in the town of Leeds, and I guess the rest. Why did you let me stay? Because I knew that you were innocent. Oh, I am innocent, but nobody would believe me. Mr. Clermont, my lord. Clermont? You borrowed his name. Is he a young man? You're falling in love with him, thank you. Then you have me to escape. I'm going to meet you at the Chateau Saint-Pierre. Oh, that's it. Saint-Pierre. At 8 o'clock in the evening. And if you found one and can prove my innocence, I could be free. Don't worry, she won't find you out. She isn't going to leave the house for another ten days. Who asked you to count the days? I watched her counting and crossing them off on the calendar. She grows more impatient and more jealous as the time approaches for a new rendezvous at the chapel of St. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. If your fear of the old loneliness has made you blind to it, I can tell from the outset that you were bound to lose her. Ten days from now, she will meet Mr. Clermont, 
And he will never let it come back. But if he doesn't go to sleep, the folks that I go to sleep, it'd be easier, wouldn't it? Maybe the police are not like that. Maybe she would walk right into a trap. I said, this is the truth. And uh, after he has thanks to some men, maybe he will give up all hope of conditioning in the world. I don't let that one cry. I won't let you take money away from me. I won't let him deprive me of the only happiness I have in hope. Exactly, you're a reason the young lady has. I am sure that my age, the man doesn't pay too much attention to it. Pardon me, but haven't we met before? My name is Jack Paul Clement. I'm a lawyer from Zoom. I'm afraid I never had the pleasure. Wait, wait, now. Now I know why you were familiar. You've a lie. The, uh, just two creepy things to the future. What an amazing coincidence. Why? Are you surprised that I, too, had need of prayer? But Jean, doesn't Jean mean anything to you? Mm -hmm. Well, there was an incident about a mad dog. A mad dog from a horrible incident. I was Marie Capitan's lawyer, and I finally been able to succeed in proving her innocence. The murdered woman was slain by her own nephew. I finally located a missing witness who confessed that he was bribed by his nephew to stay out of sight during the trial. She's lucky to have such an efficient lawyer. Lawyer. I hope to marry her now that she's free. See, all these months she's been in hiding. It was prearranged that we'd leave her soon. I need a talk. Do my business. of the law, I'm still guilty. Marie, I have done a lot of thinking in the past few days. I kept hoping that that would have some good news for you. Of course, I have to consider what to do in the beginning. Tomorrow, you and Francois are going to the camp. I'm staying here for a few days just to attend my business affairs and inside the house. Then, you buy a new house over the city of you meet new friends, or oh, you are going to be very, very happy. That's all I wish for my remaining years. To see you.
that come to America. I have not heard that. But if you hear something like that, it will be like, oh, this is a Thank you. 